Hello everybody, it's Nintendo here, and today I'm recording a video discussion with my fellow friend and YouTuber, uh, Sakura Stardust. Uh, we're going Hi. to be talk. Hi. We're going to be talking about um, E3 2015, and we're going to share our opinions. So, hi. Um, what did you think about the Nintendo um, overall digital event? Um, yeah. pretty mediocre, but um, I'm sure big fans of Animal Crossing and Metroid would probably are probably more angry than disappointed at this point. Yeah, um, yeah. Nothing, nothing new. Most of the stuff we already seen. So, um, really nothing that impressive this year. Yeah, um, and even though, like, they started off big with Star Fox, um, they had, like, what, two games announced yeah. for the Wii U and four or five for the 3DS, and especially the Wii U ones, um, didn't look yeah. that interesting. Um, there was one or two 3DS games that looked more appealing, uh, for, mm -hmm. for a Nintendo audience, but. Um, overall, it was a pretty underwhelming, underwhelming, um, um uh, yep, yeah, but, um, um, a big thing I noticed is they're focusing more on the 3DS, and, um, they, I think they need more big titles on the Wii U, I mean, I guess Star Fox was pretty cool to see, because we didn't, we, this is the first time we've seen anything about it, but, yes, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, I'm feeling like they need more big titles instead of just like casual games. Yes, but um, yeah, I think they're they're already. I hope not, but uh, I I think they're already thinking about the NX to be yeah the the next home console and just cutting yeah, out think, the Wii U's um, lifespan for uh probably in 2017. They expect they're going yeah, to talk about the NX and. In the next E3, so yeah, probably they're yeah, going I, to, um, to cut off. I highly doubt that um, anything past Zelda U is going to be a big Nintendo title. Um, usually consoles last about five or six years, but I don't think the Wii U is going to have that long a lifespan. Yeah, but but still, it's unfortunate because you have some good games in there. You have um, Splatoon that just came out, and it's mm -hmm. a great game. Smash Brothers. Uh, you have games like... Uh, Mario Kart? Yeah, Mario Kart. Uh, I almost forgot about that. Um, have and other gems like Wind Waker um, D. Mario 3D. Yeah, Mario oh, 3D yeah. World. Even if... Oh, and just um, it's good that you touched on that. No no new Mario game or even a remake. Nope. Uh, well, I guess uh, Mario Maker kind of counts, but not really. Yeah, but like you're just creating levels in already existing games so yeah n not that it doesn't count but it's sort of a spin-off and not a, a main Mario yeah title. that's that's true yeah but um um but we almost expected it since Bill Trinan I think in January said that there would be no new Mario game in 2015 except for spin-offs like Mario Party 10, Mario Maker, um, yeah, since he didn't refer the word remake, I think that fans sort of expected him to, uh, Nintendo to announce, I don't know, hurt what lots of people, um, asking mm -hmm. for Sunshine HD, hell, even Galaxy HD, um, and, uh... uh Mario Galaxy 3 is another big one people want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me especially, um, I would prefer, I would rather have, a um, Galaxy 3 than, than an HD remaster of the first, of the first yeah, or the second. Yeah, me too. Um, but, um, um... I read somewhere, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go um, ahead. Um, I read somewhere that, um... They made their own engine to remake um, GameCube games. Yes, that that's um, true. That's true. Um. So with that said, I don't. I have a feeling that they might make more games than just Wind Waker, or it'd be kind of a waste of making your own um, software, um, yeah. your own hardware, just to, yeah. Yeah. Um. 
for me, it, oh. it's okay, but I I love some GameCube games. Um, even if I don't have a GameCube, I just have the GameCube games since I wasn't born in the mm -hmm. GameCube era, unfortunately, because that would be pretty cool. But still, uh, I have some GameCube games that I, I pretty much love. I love Sunshine. I love F Zero GX. I I love Double Dash, for example. Um, those were games I, I grew up with, and uh, I would love to see them remastered uh, for the Wii U. Mm -hmm. um, and um, they could they could sort of occupy um, some slots that we will certainly be, certainly be missing on the Wii U since, like you said, um, other than Zelda Wii U, I'm, I'm not expecting more big titles to come on the Wii U, big new titles. I think it'd be kind of a waste though, I agree with you, that um, I would rather have a brand new game instead of something like um, another um, remake of a GameCube game, I mean... I love GameCube games. Um, for me, that was um, pretty much the um, kind of grew up with those in the late N64 era. But um, it's just nothing new. And um, the thing that's great about 3D, um, I'm not 3D, uh, Mario Galaxy is um, how unique um, and new it was, how they introduced new villains and new gaming aspects. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, yeah, and with um, Mario Maker, it's just kind of a rehash of the old school Mario villains like Goombas and Koopas, and um, you know, nothing new brought to the table. Yeah, but still, it was at least for me uh, personally, but was probably one of the highlights of the digital event. Unfortunately, yeah, because you're comparing everything. You're right. Yeah, um, but aside from Mario games, we we still had some. Some titles, yeah. Star Fox looks pretty amazing, uh -oh. mm -hmm. but still, I, I felt disappointed uh, because, like, at, I know that uh, they haven't revealed more stuff other other than the gameplay footage. They haven't revealed more modes yeah. or, or anything, but uh, still, it looks pretty amazing and pretty promising and it's coming this year so yeah the games themselves yeah the games themselves besides um the metroid and i guess the animal crossing game too um everything else looks very promising very fun um star fox it, it was cool to see star fox because we haven't seen anything of that until they showed all that gameplay footage yeah um uh, everything else um shin megami tensei x fire emblem um has a new title i don't remember it but um, I'm pretty excited for that too. Yeah. Um, it's just, um, yeah, E3 is always about hype and introducing new things. But I think with Nintendo and their directs, they're trying to change that and kind of release what they want when they want, maybe. Yeah, um, I think that's the approach, mm, sort of what Reggie talks at the beginning yeah, of the digital event, that whole transformation aspect um, with the NX, with the Universal park uh, partnership and um, with all of that mm -hmm. Nintendo is trying to um, to sort of be different than other video game companies and uh, yeah like I I don't mind but E3 like you said it's it's about generating hype it's about getting people hyped for games mm -hmm. uh, like for example Sony did pretty well this year they just generated hype mm -hmm. after hype after hype, and probably Sony won this year. Um, yeah, in my opinion, Sony won, and coming from a biased fangirl, that's saying a lot. Yeah, they, they had a pretty good E3 this year, um, and of course the highlight mm -hmm. was Final Fantasy VII and Shenmue Free. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, one of my favorite games growing up, definitely excited about that. Yeah, um, I, I can't say that much about the game because I, I've never played Final Fantasy, unfortunately. But it's one of those games that mm -hmm. I put aside and, and I say, okay, uh, I'll play it later and I'll buy it later when I have more money. I've already tried. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a game if you, um, have some spare time and you don't have a backlog um, backlog of other games you want to play um, and you just want to sit in and work at an RPG. It's definitely fun for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. um, 
I personally don't like the other Final Fantasy games, and but I love Seven. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. Like I still need. I still need to to play, especially Seven. Se seven intrigues me a lot since it's probably considered one of the best games uh, of all time. It definitely is. Um. I myself am a big fan of RPGs, but um. That aside, it's still a good game, even if you don't like RPGs. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, but Sony was. Like Sony's highlights were really just mm, getting games that weren't forgotten, but were just there in the dark, and just bringing them up, like Final Fantasy VII, a remake of that. N yeah. No one expected, expected. Like think, uh, everyone was asking for it for years, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, like the hype just got lower and lower since. The expectations got lower themselves. Also, the same for Shenmue mm -hmm. Free uh, and The Last Guardian. Oh also. yeah, definitely. That made a surprise appearance um, at the beginning of the conference and seemed pretty. Yep, that was pretty surprising. Um, yeah, um, last year they did um, just the port of Seven, so people are kind of disappointed, thinking, "Oh, this is all we're getting." Um, but yeah, that was a big surprise at Final Fantasy VII. Another, um, uh, there was something else they showed, um, Kingdom Hearts 3 is looking pretty oh, yeah. good, even though that's been, um, um, kind of in, um, um, development hell, I guess I should put it, because it's been, like, ten years since the last yeah, title. Yeah. Um, but it seems like it's, um, becoming a pretty, fin um, it's, it's coming together, and, um, that's good to yeah, see. The Kingdom Hearts 2 was released, what, 2006, I guess? I was... I was 9, so 2002, I think. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, even more years. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Um, I only played one Kingdom Hearts game. I, I, yeah, it, it's the DS one. I can't remember the, the, the name. Um, it's something Days... I think I played it too. I don't remember the title though because yeah, it's weird. It, it's it's the only one I've played. The title's kind of confusing. It's the only one I played. Yeah, that's a pretty good game. Um, the first two titles are definitely the best though. Um, the spin-off titles aren't that great. Um, I have a friend who played um, the PSP one. She said that was pretty good too. But um, as far as I've um, as far as the games I've played, the first two are definitely the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um. Yeah, still, Sony had loads of games and just they just generated hype after hype after hype mm -hmm. with these announcements we talked and we with games we already knew of and mm -hmm. um, and other games. Uh, look, for example, Uncharted looked pretty cool. Still, they had that problem, that hardware problem, but yeah. it's normal. It happens. Yeah. Um, another big thing is they had an audience, and it was live, and um, they had that thing where you go into a theater and yeah, watch yeah. it. I mean, it was all about hype, and um, Nintendo, ever since they um, have not been doing the press conferences, um, it feels like they're kind of making their own time frame of when they want to announce things, instead of rushing 4 E3, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, it, it seems like it. Yeah, like um, if they wanted to generate hype, they would probably just rent a venue again. But I, I guess they're doing this with some kind of strategy. But yeah, I'm not really but sure. I, I don't see uh, them going back to to having a live audience and doing a press conference. Yeah, no. Since yeah, they're definitely going a different yeah, direction. Yeah, but um, I, I don't know. It's in some way it's hurting them, but in some way it's really uh, being quite beneficial for them uh, yeah but um yeah it has it has its pros and cons as everything but yeah it definitely does yeah um i think that um they're hoping that people will get used to the pattern of the directs and kind of come to use that as their main source of information um and maybe they're hoping that in time it'll get better yeah yeah but um yeah, but really, this E3, um, at least in my opinion, um, the digital event was worse than 
many Nintendo Directs they, they normally put on. Oh yeah, um, last time, I think 2008 was the last time I've felt this disappointed and kind of, like, what just happened? Yeah, with the... I forgot what they revealed Yeah, then. with the Wii Music thing and the New Super Mario Bros. Wii, yeah. Oh yeah! That was painful. That was a waste of money, I remember and, that. And that was my first E3 watching live, uh, so it was painful. Oh really? Yeah. It was oh. pretty painful. Yeah, when Miyamoto came out, like, directing it, yeah. oh, that was so awkward, now I remember. Yeah. Um, my first was 2005 when they revealed, tw I think Twilight Princess was revealed in 2005. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was mostly that. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, a pretty... But yeah, I haven't that's seen... That's a pretty good E3. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was before they delayed it, though, so everyone was kind of hyped to get it soon. Then they delayed it for a bit, and then the Wii version yeah, came yeah. out. Um, so that's around the time I got into E3. Yeah, I, that that was my first year in um, the 2008 one, and... Uh, and surely, like, mm. then in 2009, I, I didn't watch. I don't remember, um... I only remember the ones they revealed big things about, like, I was kind of trying to rethink about what they revealed this E3, and, um, I, I was kind of going blank, like, what did they introduce again? Because, like, it wasn't... they didn't really have that hype, and it was stuff I already knew about, so I was kind of trying to, um, I had to go back on the side and relook at all the stuff, because I forgot. Yeah, because there's not that many big titles. There's that the only big title I mean is probably Star Fox and um, Mario Maker. Yeah. And I don't see like That's about yeah, it like, really. They're small titles um, I would and say they're that, there um, but they don't generate hype. Yeah. And I um well, the main reason is everyone's seen it before, too. If this is all stuff we've never seen before, this would be an amazing E3. But the fact that we've already seen all this, um, it makes it very mediocre, because the hype's already died down about all these yeah, games. And, 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 um, yeah. And, um, I would say, um, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem's a big title, but, um, that's kind of a niche title. Um, Atlas games, um, RPGs in general are kind of a niche thing, but, um... Yeah. It's still, it'll still probably be a pretty expansive title, just, um, not the kind everyone else is looking yeah, out for. Yeah, it will probably be, like, a Persona game, not to make a comparison between the two, um, between the three franchises, actually, but, um, because they're pretty different, um, Fire Emblem is a, a sword fighting mm -hmm. RPG and everything. Yeah. Shin Megami Tensei, I don't really yeah, no, know they're... what the hell it is, because I've never played one, um, and, the uh, I have, um, I'm a pretty big, um, Persona fan, never really got into Shimagami Tensei, but, um, imagine Pokemon, but they're demons, and they're, they come out of your personality, and you use them to fight, that's essentially oh, okay. what it is. Yeah. Um, it still has turn-based stuff, like, it's an RPG as well, um, but, um, it's pretty different, and most of them have an M rating. Most of Fire Emblem games are a little more, um, for, um, a little more, um, a lot of them are rated E, some yeah, T. Yeah. So, um, I, it's kind of interesting that they chose to put those two together. Yeah, but, uh... Um, especially with most, um, Persona 5, um, and Persona 4, they both have aspects of, like, murder and, um, suicide, like, all these dark themes, and then, I don't know, it's kind of surprising for me to see them yeah, come together. Yeah, but, um... But still, uh, as we were talking, uh, yeah, like mm -hmm. uh, it's not new. It's something we we know about for since what 2013. Um, they announced it, yeah, like December of 2013. Yeah, 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 and um, it's something that um, we already knew it about. So you know, um, and like the titles they announced didn't sound that appealing. Like for example. I'll buy mm -mm. Mario Tennis because I'm a Mario Tennis fan, but yeah. I'll buy it because I am a fan because I don't see uh I don't see that many people getting hyped for Mario Tennis. I'm only hyped because I like yeah. Mario Tennis 64 and the one on the Wii that I think was uh, the GameCube version with controller. I think yeah, the Wii one's a GameCube port. Yeah. Um, but, um, 
you know, a lot of people are going to be excited for that because it's a franchise they know and have a lot of fun with. But, um, again, we just got a Mario Tennis game on the 3DS a couple yeah, years back. Yeah, in 2013. So, really, to me... Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then we, um, I don't know. I think they would have done better if they announced something like the soccer game Strikers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, um, maybe the baseball one. Yeah, because those did well. It's not like they didn't do well. Um, so I don't see the need for another tennis, especially on a home console that can handle a lot more than just a tennis yeah, game. Yeah. And uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, I, I think. We, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> oh my God. bad. Um, I saw on um, like Game Explain or something the leaks of um, the Amiibos for Animal Crossing, so I was starting to get a little excited. Like, um... Are they planning one for the Wii U? Because I'm a big Animal Crossing fan, and I was just starting to get excited, because what else would those be for? Yeah. And then I saw it, and my hopes immediately dropped. Yeah. I just, I just like, okay, none of yeah. this. Um, yeah, because basically, uh, some of the games they showed out, uh, they showed off this E3, like Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Are games from mm -hmm. franchises we want, but we don't want it that way. But they're not yeah. what we want. Uh, yeah. And it happens the same with um. Metroid Prime Federation Force. Oh god. There's a petition to get that game cancelled now, and like 40,000 people signed really? it, I think. Yes. Okay. Someone showed me, Um, I was looking through the YouTube comments, and the first comment was a link to that, and I looked at it. And like, yeah, it's almost at 40,000 now. 40,000? Okay. I'm pretty sure, it might be 30,000, but still yeah, that's, that's a Yeah, that's a big number. number. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I, I read a, an interview, um, and during the, the E3 week, um, about, uh, and Reggie was talking about, um, how Metroid fans oh, were the, um, completely, one where, um... uh, angry with Nintendo since, yeah, yeah and, and his response was basically, and I'm quoting, We know that Metroid fans want a main series title, but we're not, we're not ready to give one. Uh, it's, you know... I think, um, I think they're gonna be ready after they see the fan outcry that's on their, um, the YouTube trailer for yeah. that. And basically everywhere. I, I think they're gonna be ready at some point. Maybe even just revamp the game they're already working on with a different art style and add um, Samus to it, maybe. I mean, something, because I don't think they'll release this game, um, release that game at this yeah, point. Yeah, but um, still, um, also another interview I saw. The director of um, Metroid Prime talked about the possibility of, of creating the new Metroid. Prime game or the new Metroid game uh, in the future, but it doesn't seem like and and he sort of excludes the possibility for it to be for this generation of consoles, which to me is a oh. little bit underwhelming, since probably no Metroid yeah. on, on the Wii U and no Metroid on the 3DS. Yeah, I mean, even if yeah. next level games well, were um, working on one. Uh, in 2012, they have concept art and everything. Oh really? Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I just, um, there's definitely people that want to see it, and I think that they've been waiting since like Metro Prime th um, Three, and I think that was a game. No, that was an early Wii title, and um, they've been waiting for like seven to eight years. I mean, imagine waiting for another Zelda title. Um, I, I heard someone talk um, about this, but like, um, imagine getting a Zelda title, like, eight or nine years ago, and then the next one you're hoping for, it's just like, um, a spin-off, like the crossbow yeah, training yeah. game. Um. That would be, I could imagine how infuriating that could be if you're a huge Metroid yeah, fan. Yeah, but, um, because, like, um, recently many, many articles have came out of games have cancelled Nintendo games that were planned to release. Um, we have the Metroid game for 3DS that Next Level Games was working on. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That that was a thing, and um, they cancelled it 
Yeah, I remember that. I and they cancelled it, and they're now working on Metroid Prime Fed Federation Force, and uh, you know. Yes, I don't. I don't get why they're putting Metroid Prime on it. It's nothing like the games. Um, but yeah, they did kind of have a Wii title. They had the Metroid Prime Trilogy, which was a port of the yeah, three games. Yeah. But other, that wasn't a new release at all. Yeah. Um, and uh, there was another article that, that that one came, I think, yesterday. Basically, uh, in 2011, Nintendo of Europe um, asked Criterion, the, the company. Oh yeah, I I just read that article like an hour yeah, ago. Um, company from the Need for Speed games and uh, the Burnout franchise to make mm -hmm. an F-Zero game for the Wii U that would launch alongside the Wii U and uh, yeah basically yeah uh, yeah that um I'm an F-Zero fan too and hearing that I mean, not just that, but if it was a launch title, the Wii U probably would have sold better, because all we had was, like, New Super Mario Bros. U and Nintendo Land. Um, they were fun, but nothing great. Yeah. But a new Metroid title would probably be great, because it would hold people over for Mario Kart, which wouldn't be coming out for, like, another two years. Yeah, yeah. Probably. But, yeah, I don't understand why they cancel games like that, because there's obviously a want for it. Yeah, like... I, I don't know, and there's also a mother title, but that one is is not that, at least in my opinion, it's not that interesting compared to this F-Zero game and the Metroid game for, for the 3DS, which is Super Mario Sluggers, yeah. was a wrestling and volleyball game. Um, oh, um, Mario Sports Mix? No, 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 it was... It's called Mario uh, Mario Sports Sluggers or Super Mario Sluggers. I think S Sluggers is the baseball one. Um, it's basically volleyball and wrestling in the same game. Oh, I've yeah, it's by a different yeah, developer. Yeah. And they thought um, I remember reading this. They thought it'd be a little too violent to have like Yoshi and um other like nice characters like beating on each other or something. Yeah. But still, they have Smash Bros. Yeah, I remember so that. <laughs> that doesn't make yeah. that much sense. Yeah. Okay, um... I don't know, um... Uh, just the, um, maybe because they're pinning each other down being a little more violent, like... Smash Brothers is more comical, but, um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Let's skip on Nintendo a bit. Um, now about other companies. I don't know, Microsoft, Ubisoft... Okay. EA, Square Enix, oh. Bethesda. EA, as always, is just a bunch of sports games and nothing really great. Yeah, basically. Um, they show what they they show what they make, and but it's nothing really. It's nothing a lot of hype is going to come from because it's like this year's football game or this year's um, whatever sports game. Um, so yeah, nothing really new from them. Yeah. Um. From the Sony, uh, sorry, the EA conference. I'm only excited for FIFA because I'm Portuguese and I'm European, so I, I like football. Oh so. yeah. Uh, soccer, sorry. Uh, I like soccer. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, I know what I you like mean. I like soccer a, a lot. So, um, and there was another game that EA showed that was pretty pretty interesting. I I don't remember the name. I'm trying to search Was for it, it the Star Wars one? It's it's like it's sort of like Bikmin, but um it, Oh um yeah I kinda yeah, remember but that. Like with wool and something. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that. Um it looked pretty yeah, fun. And I, I don't know why it isn't coming to Nintendo consoles, but still it's EA. Yeah. Um lately EA's been kinda hating on yeah. Nintendo. At least since the Wii U came out. Yeah, they they had some titles and then, but still, yeah, like um, the the one I I enjoyed from third party was probably the most was Bethesda. Bethesda looked pretty cool, actually. Yeah. With a um, Fallout 4. Yeah, they 
they add new things to make it more advanced. I mean, definitely something to look forward to. Just nothing, nothing new or groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, they already had reveal Fallout 4 and uh, Doom and all those titles. That was more of just showing information about uh, what what we knew about. Um, I'm not a big Bethesda yeah. fan, but. Like the the only company I, I I basically love and that I'm a biased fan of that company is Nintendo. So uh, aside from yeah, that, yeah, pretty much. Uh, um, yeah, I don't I don't get excited for, for that many titles. Yeah, um, just PlayStation's the only big thing that kind of gets me hyped. Um, Persona Five, um, Shenmue Three, yeah. um, Final Fantasy Fifteen. I am excited for. Um, of course, the Final Fantasy VII remake and um, Kingdom Hearts three, but that's about it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like for me, the games I'm excited to see free, the games that made me hyped. Yeah, like Final Fantasy VII, um, mm -hmm. Shenmue three, also um, Super Mario Maker. Is that confirmed to be on the? Um... Yeah, oh yeah. But is that confirmed? Um, Shenmue three to be on the um, on the PS4 only? Uh, I think so because uh, Sony's financing financing the the game, so yeah. Oh, they are. So it's pretty much. Oh, probably then. Um, deconfirmed for any other consoles. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But still, um, games aside from that, um, that I'm excited for. Uh, I, I don't know, like Super Mario Maker, but we knew about it. Star Fox, but we yeah. knew about it, even if we haven't seen gameplay. Yeah, we barely saw anything, but we still yeah, knew. And uh, I don't know. Oh, Mario Tennis, FIFA. Yeah. Because I'm a um, soccer fan. We got um. Yeah. We got a Japanese game called Yoko. Oh March. yeah, that one. But um. um yeah, um, it's been out in Japan for like four years, so it's it's not like it's not like people um, in the West don't know about games coming out in Japan. So it wasn't a big surprise either. Yeah, um, I I knew about the title, but I'm not particularly excited because I don't know how it works. Yeah, I've only seen gameplay. It's like Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Much, um, but I, um, I like Pokemon. It, yeah, but, but like um, I don't have. Uh, that much of a connection with Yokai Watch, I don't know why, but yeah. It's very Japanese. It is extremely Japanese, which is probably why it took so long to come here. Um, a big thing, um, you know how in um, Paper Mario, how you tap buttons to uh, uh, make your attack yeah, stronger? Yeah. yeah, it kinda it kind of implicates stuff like that, but it's more like a Pokemon thing. Yeah, okay, okay. So, um, and yeah, like, for me, these are the titles that, that at least make me hyped. Um, but yeah, um, to yeah to finish off, uh, okay. Um, best E3 2015 moments or or the favorite or our favorite game shown off. Um. Uh, as a biased. Um, not biased. As somebody who really loves RPGs, um, Fire Emblem Fates. I'm really excited about that. Oh yeah. Um, I'll spend a lot of time playing that. I spent. I put like a hundred hours in Awakening. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as a whole, um, including like hype and the general audience and what was the best thing shown. Um, definitely Star Fox. Yeah. Um. So yeah, for me best game shown was probably Star Fox also or Super Mario Maker because uh, I don't know I, I have a sort of yeah Mario brings nostalgia <laughs> to me a lot it was the first game Super Mario Brothers 3 was the first game I've ever played and probably one of the oh yeah I can I can definitely see that because um, Mario Super Mario World was the very first game I played, and um, as soon as I saw that they were giving um, 
that they were offering a Mario World skin, I was definitely hyped. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I have, um, like, I, I started playing games when I was three years old, and the first game I played was Super Mario Bros. 3, like I said, for the Game Boy Advance. Um, oh, um, the Super Mario Advance Yeah, exactly. Port? Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, I and had my that. favorite game of all time is is Galaxy, so even if it's not a uh, Galaxy, uh, if, in, if it's just 2D, uh, it's just a 2D maker, I'm still excited because Mario is probably my favorite franchise mm -hmm. alongside Zelda. Uh, so... Yeah. Yeah. Probably for me to, um... Pokemon's probably up there with them for me, because I played a lot of Pokemon growing up. But, um, yeah, Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon are my three, my top three. Yeah. Uh, my top three would probably be Mario, Zelda, and, uh... I would say either Fire Emblem, or... Let's count Smash Brothers. Um, I kinda count that, okay, but, um... Cause I don't know, that's like a mashup, but you know. Yeah. I uh, guess it counts. If, it, if we count Smash Brothers, yeah. Smash Brothers is the front one. Uh, for me. Yeah, um, I put Fire Emblem up there too, but I haven't played a lot of Fire Emblem games. Um, yeah. Probably Shadow Dragon and um, Awakening are the ones I yeah, finished. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and also for me, up, up there, but, you know, um, not as as high because I not as high in, in the list because I haven't played um, the first title and the first title that came out on the eShop uh, last week uh, it's Earthbound um, I, I okay. pretty much love Earthbound uh, and uh, Earthbound Beginnings was announced to see free I, I still have to buy it and uh, yeah me too um yeah but I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, um, what? Oh yeah, I finished um the first Earthbound like a year ago. Not the first one, the um, the one that came yeah, out Mother here. Yeah, Mother Two. Mother Two. Um, the SNES yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I really want to play Mother Three, but I don't want to. I want it to be an official Nintendo port, so maybe I'll just buy the game from Japan to play it. Um, who knows, maybe they'll port it over here on the Wii U or something. It's possible, um, they, they just released mm -hmm. Earthbound Beginnings, which is Mother 1, um, with the English yep. script, and they had the English script ready, and, uh... Yeah, for about 20 yeah, years. Yeah, and the same for Mother 3, so... Uh, oh, yeah, really? I, I heard they have the script, um, done for... Oh, if that's the case, then, um... I don't know, I think it has to do with how well, um, Mother's, um, Earthbound Beginning sells. Yeah, yeah. But, um, still, like, um, at least from my point of view, they have quite some fans in, in the West that are fans of the Earthbound series, or the Mother series. Mm -hmm, they're, especially, um, most Nintendo fans, um, that I've met are Earthbound fans, um, but I think um, Nintendo's kind of worried about how the general audience that aren't the hardcore fans will kind of react to a game like Earthbound because it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. I think people I think people will like it. It's it's an RPG, but it's not too in depth. So um, I, I really think they should give Mother Three a shot as well. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I was saying, probably the best E three moment this year. I would say. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7 getting announced. That was pretty bad. Oh yeah. I was kind of. I was just. I was just thinking of Nintendo's conference when I answered. But um, with that said, Final Fantasy 7 definitely. Yeah. So okay, I think that wraps it up for for our discussion. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um. So, do you want to tell people where you can find you at? Um, yes, my YouTube is Sakura Stardust. Um, I do gaming videos, um, talk about gaming news. Um, I only have a few cha um, videos up so far. 
but I have a lot planned, um, anime reviews, um, game reviews. So if you like that kind of stuff, um, check out my YouTube, it's Sakura Stardust. Okay, so, oh, go subscribe to, to Sakura Stardust because it's a pretty good channel even if it has a few videos in there. Uh, I think your first video was the Thanks. E3 reaction video. Yes, my um, my semi rant about E3 like five seconds after seeing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I I had one. Uh, I posted one on my YouTube channel that was. Oh yeah, I yeah, saw that. Yeah, but that was uh what three hours after, so I was even more mad than I was uh after. Yeah, I get after, that. Right after the. The, the digital event. Uh, I was mad then yeah. when I was recording the video, but I was even more mad when I when I finished <laughs> uh, watching the, the conference. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think that wraps it up for for us here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure yeah, you subscribe funny. to Sakura Stardust on YouTube, and uh, also make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, um, I hope we we make these discussion videos uh, more times because I I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I did okay. too. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time. <laughs>